Before creating a ship's route in the electronic navigational chart, the first and most important step a navigator must take is to set the safety parameters. These parameters include the shallow contour, safety contour, safety depth, and deep contour, which define the boundaries between shallow, safe, and deep waters on the display. In today's video, we'll focus on understanding the difference between the safety contour and the safety depth, since many navigators often confuse these two important terms. Before we proceed, let's have a brief discussion about the safety parameters that must be set in the electronic chart display and information system before creating a route. Contour is a line that connects points of equal depth below chart datum, serving as reference lines that define color-shaded depth zones, making it easier to distinguish safe and unsafe waters. The main types of contours used as safety parameters are the shallow contour, safety contour, and deep contour. In this electronic navigational chart, the line that separates the dark blue and light blue shaded areas is called the shallow contour. It indicates the limit of shallow water, and if a vessel goes beyond this line, she will run aground. The bold line that separates the light blue and gray shaded areas is the safety contour. This line distinguishes safe water from unsafe water, serving as an important boundary for navigation. Meanwhile, the line that separates the gray and white zones is the deep contour. It marks the division between safe water and deep water. Vessels must remain within the gray and white shaded areas, as these represent the navigable waters. As I mentioned earlier, safety contour is a line on the chart that separates safe water from unsafe water. It is displayed as a bold line, usually in black, and it triggers an alarm or warning when the ship crosses into unsafe waters. However, even if the vessel crosses the safety contour and enters the light blue shaded zone, she may still be able to navigate safely without running aground, provided that the safety depth has been properly determined. Safety depth is not a contour, rather it is a numerical value that represents the minimum depth of water considered safe for the vessels to navigate. This value is usually calculated in accordance with the company guidelines and procedures. If you're not yet familiar how to determine these safety parameters, I have made a separate video explaining the process. Please check the link in the description below. Always remember, these procedures serve only as a guide. You should always follow your company's policy and guidelines when calculating the safety parameters. Let's examine this chart. The set safety parameters are as follows. The safety contour and safety depth are usually calculated using the same procedure, which is why they often have the same value. Contours are displayed depending on their availability, which can be checked directly on the electronic chart display and information system, or it can be verified through visual inspection. In this chart, the set shallow contour is 7 meters. However, contours are shown at regular depth intervals, such as every 5 or 10 meters. So, if the set value, like 7 meters, is not available, it will automatically display the next higher contour value. If we inspect the chart, the spot sounding in this area is 11.6 meters, which means that this shallow contour is 10 meters. Higher than the set shallow contour value, which is 7 meters. The bold line separating the light blue and gray shaded areas is the safety contour. If the spot sounding here is 22.5 meters and here is 17.7 meters, this safety contour is 20 meters. The set safety contour is 14 meters, but since there is no available contour for 14 meters, it will display the next higher available contour, in this case 20 meters. Now, let's assume we are planning a passage in the northeast direction. So this is our intended traffic lane. We will be laying down our route within this lane, which means our vessel will be crossing the safety contour and will enter this light blue shaded area. The question is, is it safe for our vessel to navigate within this light blue shaded area? Let's check. 
The set's safety depth is 14 meters, which represents the minimum depth of water in which the vessel can safely navigate. Upon examining the chart, the spot soundings within the light blue shaded area inside the traffic lane are greater than the set's safety depth 14 meters. It means that the vessel can safely navigate within this zone. To determine the navigable and non-navigable waters, check the set safety depth, in this case 14 meters. All soundings that are 14 meters or less are shown in black, while those soundings that are greater than 14 meters are in gray. So we can mark those areas where the soundings are in black as the no-go area, while the light shaded area where the soundings are in gray is the navigable waters. These navigable waters within the light blue areas where the soundings are greater than the safety depth can also serve as a contingency anchorage in case the vessel needs to drop anchor during an emergency situation. Let's have another chart. The set shallow contour here is 4 meters, and the displayed shallow contour is 5 meters, which is the next greater contour value than 4 meters. The set safety contour and safety depth are 8 meters, but the displayed safety contour is 10 meters since an 8 meter contour is not available. If we examine the colors of the spot soundings in the chart, those soundings that are 8 meters or less are in black, while those greater than 8 meters are in gray. If we lay down a route in southeast direction, this might be the plant track. We can mark those areas in which the soundings are in black as the no-go area, while those soundings in the light blue shaded area that are colored gray are still navigable water. This area in a light blue shaded can be the contingency anchorage in case the vessel needs the drop anchor during an emergency situation. Here it can be marked as point of no return, while here can be the abort point. I made a separate video about PONR and abort point. If you want to see the full details, kindly check the link in the description. That's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.